I'm here to wish you happy holiday spending. And in my book, that means more joy and less debt. Holiday expenses can add up really fast with gifts, decorations, parties, and travel. But happy holidays don't have to mean a new year full of debt. So I'm going to tell you about some tips that you can use to cut holiday expenses without stifling the celebration. One of the most important strategies you can use to take a tip from old St. Nick is to make a list and check it twice. So start with a list of all the names of people who you plan to buy gifts for. And if you're trying to cut back this year, Make sure that you buy gifts for people that you really care about on your list. And another option if you're trying to cut expenses is to talk about maybe drawing names in the family or setting a spending limit on gifts. You can also think of some really creative and imaginative ways to give gifts that are less expensive. Think about gifts that use your time and your talents. Maybe if you're into photography, you could give a, a great photo in a frame or if you knit, you could knit someone a pair of mittens. So think about giving gifts of your time and talents. But no matter what the gifts you give, it's important to think about what you can realistically afford to spend on the holidays. And not just on gifts, but also think about food and travel and other holiday expenses that you might have. And think about what you can spend right now. It's easy to get swept up in the holiday spirit and overspend. So planning on the front end for what you can realistically afford is an important thing to do. Sometimes it's hard to tell the kids no when they have pages full of a holiday wish list, but it's okay to set limits. Help them to make priorities on their wish list and maybe you'll buy only one expensive gift for them this year and then fill in with lots of stocking stuffers. And we hope that parents are teaching their children that the holidays are about more than their gift list. So it's a great time to focus on family holiday traditions. And if you have some, go ahead and really play those up and help the children to enjoy them and focus on those. And if you don't have family holiday traditions, this is a great time to start some. For example, you might have a popcorn and movie night and pop your own popcorn, make hot chocolate and watch a holiday classic like It's a Wonderful Life. Or you could decorate the Christmas tree together and listen to Christmas carols. Or you could uh, bake gingerbread men or banana bread and take it to the neighbors. So use your imagination and start some wonderful holiday traditions. And finally, when you do go for your holiday shopping, remember to shop carefully. When you get in the stores and the holiday music is playing and the scent of Christmas is in the air, it's easy to forget about your list. So stick to your list. Compare prices on your more expensive items. Use coupons when you can. And pay cash when possible. And if you do have to use credit, make sure you have a plan in place to pay it off as soon as possible after the first of the year. And remember, overspending during the holidays can lead to financial stress in the new year. So here's wishing you happy holiday spending. To learn more, contact your county extension agent and follow the links in this section.